All right, here we are guys in a place I think called Yash. Now we've been here for like four hours and I originally was calling it Lassie. Then I realized <laughs> there's an accent on the S so it's probably Lashy. Then we were just talking to some locals and they informed me that it's in fact a capital I, not a lowercase L. So then I was calling it Yashi, and now I think I heard someone saying Yash. So yeah. hopefully by the end of this video, we can find out where in fact we are. I can tell you how we got here. So we came on something called E85, mm -hmm. which is AKA the death road. Uh, the reason it's so dangerous is because it's not two lanes going each direction. It's like one and a half lanes going each direction. Mm -hmm. So the car on the right side actually drives on top of the dotted line. And when you're in that center lane, there's no physical barrier or physical space from the oncoming traffic. And uh, it's quite nerve wracking. <laughs> it's not often when you're driving, uh, when, the, when the car passes you this way, you feel the wind off the car. Ooh. It's a little bit scary, especially if it's a big truck passing you. It's like, right. <sighs> And so uh, it's pretty close, but we made it and we're safe. I will say we tried to visit something called the Heroes Mausoleum, mm -hmm. which we were pretty excited for. Uh, from the outside, it looks spectacular. Evidently, there's more than 5,000 uh, heroes, uh, victims of wars yeah. that have been buried there. Uh, unfortunately, it was closed. That's right. Now, from there, uh, we drove more or less until sundown and we stayed at a pretty great accommodation. When we woke up this morning, the sun was shining. Quite beautiful in a cabin style accommodation just outside of Yash. Yeah. And then this morning we left there and we came to Yashi, <laughs> Yash, somewhere. Uh, unfortunately, the accommodation we were at, there was a wedding going on. So we couldn't do all of the activities. Some of them looked pretty exciting. Right. But we had to move on because it was fully booked. Uh, this is the nature of a road trip. That's we true. tried to see Heroes Mausoleum, unfortunately closed. Uh, would have stayed an extra night at that uh, accommodation, but uh, fully booked. Now, here we are. We did just check out this incredible building behind me, which has not one, not two, not three, but four museums inside Ooh. of it. We bought a ticket for just the historical museum, yeah. because there's an arts and an ethnography and something else. Um, turns out most of the stuff in there was prehistoric and other kind of historical stuff, still quite interesting, but I was thinking it would be more about this amazing sculpture, this man behind me, uh, who's known as Stephen the Great. Now, obviously what we know is just basic, just base level logic. We know that all Stevens are pretty great. Okay. So for him to stand out amongst uh, the Stevens, this is a superlative man, <laughs> superlative man. I will say Stephen the Great is a ruler um, from the 1800s in this area known as Moldovia. Um, obviously you guys know the country Moldova, which is right next door. Moldovia is actually a province that is in two countries. Okay. Similar to Punjab. Punjab is in Pakistan and India. Uh, uh, Moldovia is Moldova region as well as Romanian region. Okay. So hopefully in the next video or maybe two videos from now, we'll be in Moldova. Our plan the is country. to go to the country of Moldova. Yes. But for now we're exploring Moldovia. The province yes. and the city is... Yesi. Yeshi, which is the capital Something of Moldova, like Romania. This. Yes, uh, second largest city in yes. Romania, wow. and in fact used to be the capital. Yes. And then they moved the capital to uh, Bucharesti. Yes. So here we are. Next stop, we've got a bunch of really be beautiful um, churches, monasteries. monasteries. Yeah. Should be. It seems kind of uh, bigger than Timisoara, obviously, but in terms of the architecture, kind of like Timisoara, where yeah. buildings like this Look are this. sort of all over the, the place. Palace of Culture, guys. It's it's really, called. really nice. Very so anyway, very nice. next stop, we'll check out some more monasteries, and I think there's a street food uh, festival, festival happening. Yeah. What could be better than that? Our first day in Yash and or Yashi, not Lash <laughs> and not Lashy. Let's go explore, guys. Let's go. Alright, so let me just rephrase something. I'm worried that comparing Yashi and Timisoara is a bit foolish because this city is obviously way bigger than Timisoara. Timisoara is a small city and Yashi is the second largest in Romania. But my point was that when we first got to Timisoara, which was our first destination in all of Romania, we were amazed that everywhere you look 
were really incredible architectural buildings and that's been our first impressions of Yashi. We're sort of in the downtown core here and if you look at this uh, 1600s monastery just absolutely incredible concrete work on the entire building mind you. So from the Palace of Culture to this monastery and there's a few more to go down. Um, really impressed by the architecture here and I think our next stop is to go in and explore this monastery. Yeah. Let's go. I'm super excited for this man. All right, so the outside is certainly a reflection of just how ornate and beautiful the inside is. Unfortunately, the minister at the front said, no video, only photos. So you'll have to follow along this slideshow for this section. I will say when I went inside, there was like three people taking cell phone videos, but we decided to um, not break the rules. But super beautiful in there, super quiet, and everything so sort of imposing and empowering and just really grand and intricately painted building. I will say there's like three or four beautiful buildings up ahead of us. I think we'll do a little bit of wandering through the downtown of Yashi or the city center, I think. Let's keep going. So far, so good. Literally right next door to the monastery is the Metropolitan Cathedral, which again, another super elegant building. We didn't choose to go inside this one because there's actually a service happening and there's a line and there's worshipers, so we won't interrupt them, but literally everywhere we look, just super massive and ornate and historical buildings. Not sure where we will end up in this vlog, but so far so good. Let's keep exploring, Ivana. Wow, maybe best for last here at Golia Monastery. And this is in fact a walled monastery with a beautiful garden out front. Unfortunately, the bell tower is closed. So normally we could walk up there for a nice view. But the monastery itself, I mean, what's incredible is that this is one of many in Yashi because this could be something that's the one tourist attraction, you know, the best one. There's tons of these down the strip, so ready to explore more. And I think we can actually go in this monastery. Wow, let's go. This is awesome. Oof, that I think was the most intricately and extravagantly designed interior we've seen today there were tons of people praying and I don't really like filming people before I talk to them in general but I especially don't like filming people before I talk to them um, if they're praying so we got no shots but take my word for it super high ceilings and the artwork the painting on all the domes inside just incredible um, and now we're actually gonna switch gears a little bit and go for a street food festival so from the sort of indoor voice quiet to maybe something that's going to be hectic and action-packed. Uh, this is a, s a story of two halves on this oh, vlog. Loving Yessi so far. The first half and the second half. Okay, it's Yashi, babe. There's an yashi. accent on the okay, S. Yashi. Yashi. <laughs> and maybe Yash. Uh, okay, next stop, food festival. This is pretty exciting. Check this out. The food festival is in the back of the palace which is pretty special and I will say there's tons of people here enjoying it. There's music playing. We've tried to move away from the music to avoid the noise and I will say the crowdedness is just about perfect. It's uh, packed but not overly crowded. Just That's popular. Right. Just right. Uh, I will say I don't like filming people before I ask them if they want to be in the video. Impossible to make a vlog here without lots of people. <laughs> so hopefully no one in the background is embarrassing himself picking their nose or something <laughs> because I mean there's people everywhere and the concept yeah. is um, food trucks. So certainly lots of burger options. There's pizza, there's waffles, there's ice cream, coffee. Yeah. You name it, they got it. Even some more traditional ones like pe Pleshkavitsa. Wow. So pretty excited. Maybe we'll order some food, sit quietly and eat. I mean, it goes around in a big courtyard. Mm -hmm. 
It's a cool crowd. There's music playing, and what's around the food festival is amazingly beautiful. There's even it's like, really great. You can't beat this. Five stars. It's a park, and there's grass areas where people just sit. Yeah, and you chill. sit, and there's little kids, yeah. and there's older people, and it's family friendly, and it's. I mean, it's awesome. Yeah, cool. That All being right. said, let's eat. Let's get something to eat. Okay, Pleskovice, first time trying. I will say we were going to try Pleskovice in. Timisoara like two yeah. months ago but we went to the restaurant it was pouring rain and we just went home yeah because it's a more popular dish there right in Timisoara. I will say there's three options at this particular uh, food truck uh, Sarbulue fresh <laughs> and gar garmandule oh. <laughs> So I went for the one that starts with G and Yvonne got the fresh so at first glance it looks like a meat burger, burger. Meat burger, I'm thinking. Burger. This okay. might be my new favorite Romanian uh, food because meat is my number one, and number two is uh, pork neck steak. <laughs> I've been eating this every day. Okay, uh, first time trying. Looks good though, no? Yeah. Looks like a super massive, by the way. A flattened out burger with uh, hopefully meat meat. <laughs> Ooh, that's a big bite. Look at that. <laughs> so? How does it taste like? I think it might be meat or similar. Is it? Is it similar to meat? Uh, meat or burger meat? It's a bit like meat. It's a bit like breakfast sausage. Ah, okay. It's good. And it's also got garlic, garlic in the patty. It's really nice. Oh. It's just a burger. It's just a very interesting burger. All right. Um, super nice. I love the packaging. I will say Romanians know how to throw a party. Because yeah. there's tables everywhere, there's chairs everywhere, there's beer available everywhere. <laughs> That's and true. it's funny that everyone's drinking beer and there's no lineups at the beer places. Because there's so many beer places that it's just like, they want to make that accessible. That's true. It's super clean, the palace behind us, yeah. the music is nice, uh, Pleshka Vitsa, you can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. Love this vibe. It's a good food fest, I would say. Lots of people, it's as if COVID is, doesn't exist. True. Yeah. So, anyway. This is just like a burger. But the meat is a little bit different. The meat is not quite. I think you can do a better job describing the meat. All right, all right. It's Let not me quite. It's not quite hamburger meat. Let it's me almost like sausage meat. All right. Mm. So we got it from the Plush Cafeda fan, of course. Say the name of the dish again for me. Plush ca Plush Cafeda. What is it? There's a little accent on the T, so the T has like a TS. Plush Cafeda. Pizza. Pizza. Ah. Plush Cafeda. That's hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Going for Fresh it. burger. Mm. Nice, right? Mm-hmm. Come on. Mm-hmm. Do me a favor and eat just some of the meat and see what the meat tastes like because I think it's more like sausage meat or maybe even meat. Okay. Garlic. Mm. So a little bit meat. A little bit meat. Because that bounciness of the meat. Yes. The bounciness mm -hmm. of the meat. It's a meat burger. Mm -hmm. I'm calling it meat burger. And it's very flavorful. I think the Serbians are gonna get mad if I call it meat burger. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice though. Actually, a Serbian dish. <laughs> but uh, still very good here in Romania. Mm -hmm. All right, there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching our vlog. I think we did a lot today. Oh, we forgot to mention we went to um, on the way here. Oh, yeah. We went to. Uh, we stopped by a town called Fokshani. 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 Yeah. Um, nice little quiet town. Mm -hmm. We went for lunch, and we actually found tons of chess boards in that yeah. city. And so I, we watched some guys play quite good chess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that the gardens or the parks in Europe or in Romania got a little section always where people play chess. Yes, and they were actually yeah. playing right on the table. The board was built into the and table. It, it was really nice to watch. If you've been watching our vlogs, you would know that Steve loves playing yes, chess. Yes. I was hoping to play a game <laughs> with those boys, but uh, they were all kind of, they had some organization happening, some kind of tournament was happening. Mm -hmm. I wasn't gonna but impose, anyway. but there you have it, guys. Come on, Ivana, good day today. Yes, Eve. This is the beauty of the road trip. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, the monastery, or mm -hmm. sorry, the mon mausoleum might be mm -hmm. closed. You know, things like...
Moldova for a few days and then and maybe we'll come, come back. back. Yeah. It's nice here. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you later. See ya. This burger, I should say Pleshka pizza, is almost no sauce at all. You really taste the salty garlic meat. Yeah. No sauce. Like, I was surprised. There is, like, no sauce at Zero. all, and it's still flavorful. A lot of street food burgers, they're saucing up. Yeah. I'm looking at Malaysia. But <laughs> still yummy, but this one is much more taste ingredients. Yeah, exactly. I was surprised. There you have it, guys. Very good. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Mm.